Can we speak about my main man? Can we speak about my main man, huh? Huh? Uncle, Uncle Blackness, a.k.a. Shannon Sharp. Can we speak about Uncle Blackness, huh? You know why. You've all heard the video. You've all heard the video. I'm sure you have. Don't lie. Some of you have probably rubbed one out, huh? Some of you did a little flicker of the bean. I know. Don't lie. Mm, honey, honey. So, in case you don't know, Shannon Sharp, unfortunately, um, went live on Instagram by accident, allegedly. And in the background, all you could hear were moans and groans of sexual activity for like four minutes. Like, consistent. I was like, rah. That's the first thing that took me. I was like, shit, four minutes. No, like, breaks. <laughs> All right, cool. If that's if that's four minutes natural, if that's four minutes, no honey pack, no blue, no little blue pill, that's mad. I'm like, rah. All right, cool, four minutes. And obviously, um, I think, like everybody else, I think I must have saw the clip of the Instagram live. Um that was shortened. I think the official clip is like four minutes plus, but I think I saw like a minute of it. I didn't, th I didn't think much of it. Someone just said, oh my God, Shannon Sharp just went live. He's fucking some girl. You can hear the moans and groans. She's going crazy. He's going crazy. And you can just hear the noises of it. So I didn't think much of it. So I just, you know, I continued browsing on my, on my, on my feed. Then I saw another clip and another clip. And then people kept saying, oh my God, Shannon, Shannon, Shannon. I was like, how do people know it's him? Maybe he got hacked because lately, the last few weeks, bear celebrities have been getting hacked on their social medias. So I didn't really think much of it. But then somebody said, oh my God, I can't believe he says in the clip, that's my Michelle, <laughs> right? Which is the name, you know, a little play on the fucking title of the podcast. That's my baby. So in the, one of the video clips, because I didn't watch the whole thing, he, was, he says like to the lady that he's pleasuring, that's my Michelle. So I hear it myself. I fast forward to the section, and of course, you know, Shannon Sharp has one of the most distinct voices in media. That's probably why he's so famous and so well loved and whatever. He's got definitely a great voice for like, you know, entertainment and podcasts, or whatever. So as soon as you hear, that's my Michelle, you know it's him. So the whole hacking thing was completely like put to one side. I was like, oh no, Shannon, how the fuck? And then immediately, immediately 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 when i when i kind of knew it wasn't hacked i was like hold on how do you go on instagram live like by accident now i don't go on instagram live much i think i might have been on instagram live like twice in my whole instagram lifespan but i'm sure to go on instagram live you have to kind of like swipe to your stories then you have to swipe again to the instant, like you have to do quite a lot of things to get there. But generally, most people's phones, not sure about you, most people's phones have a lock on them, right? Most people have a lock. So you have to ha have your phone unlocked and then to get to, I don't know, <laughs> these days it's even hard to fucking call somebody by accident unless you already opened the app. Like sometimes I'll call somebody by accident, but because I already opened the phone app, so now I have it in my pocket and as I'm walking, the keys touch it and bang. But it's nearly impossible, nearly impossible to from your locks or your or from from your home screen from this home screen i think it's nearly impossible to get on instagram live by accident i swear to god it is so immediately i was like hold on how does this how could this have worked and then i was, I was thinking about it some more i was like oh i know what might have happened maybe this again i'm just guessing i have no inside information i'm just a fucking peon talking from my mother's basement somewhere in the you know whatever right i'm i'm a nobody but I think this might have happened. I think Shannon Sharp, right? Like a good black man, right? Like a good black man, like a strong black man, probably has two phones, right? <laughs> probably has two phones, right? One for church, <laughs> one for church, <clears throat> and one not for church. And most likely, the, the, the phone that's not for church is the one that, you know, doesn't have a lock on it. Maybe it's the one that has more dirt on it and shit. It's just a bit of the fun thing. Cool. So most likely, that girl that he was slamming in that room was most likely on the second phone, checking shit out. Maybe on the Instagram, you know, doing what girls do. And I think when she was doing what she was doing, 
Shannon came into the room dieseled, like out of the shower. You know, like when black men come out of the shower, like we come out of the shower, like, uh, right? Yeah? You come out of the shower and you're trying to fuck on something, right? It's like a Playboy Carty and, and The Weeknd. I'm, I'm trying to fuck on something, right? He came out of the shower, like, uh, he came out of the shower, like, uh, he looked over the bed, he saw her lying on her, on her side, right? You know how a man them like. She was lying on her side, right? Batty out. <laughs> yo, yo. Pick up and trip. Accidentally on purpose, am I right? Yeah, you know that. You know it. You know it. Accidentally on purpose, he slipped in. So she was lying. Big up Angel Ranger. She was lying like that on the side, right? On the phone. Probably using the phone like that, right? She was lying down on the side. Using the phone as girls do. He saw that fucking shape. And he was like... Arr! He was already on demon mode. And as soon as he saw the shape, he just came over and just probably laid the, laid it down. Just laid the piece, laid, laid the piece down, like just bang. She's like, ah, ah, Shani, Shani, Shasha, or whatever nickname she gives him. Shani, Shasha, what are you doing? Stop it, right? And, he's not even talking, he's just saying. Rrr. And then immediately, as he lays the ting down, that's when things start heating up. But she's still on the phone. She's still on Instagram. So I was just laying up and heating up and he's just laying the piece all over her. She's like, Shani, Shani, stop. You're being stupid. You're wet. You're all wet, Shani. <laughs> right? He just keeps laying the ting, keeps laying the ting. And eventually it gets to the business, but the phone is still in her hand. And as it's still in her hand and she's like shaking, right? She's like fucking, she's like fucking shaking and shit with that, with a ting in her hand, right? She's fucking shaking. And maybe then her, her hand slips as she's shaking. She slips somewhere and it goes on fucking IG live by accident. That's what I think happened. Like she's shaking. She's fucking oh Shani. Oh Shani. You know? Shake club, shake, shake. Like she's doing shake, shake, shake. You know, yeah? She's doing all that shit, right? And then accidentally the phone goes on live. But it's still in the hand. Or it's under the fucking pillow. That's what I think happened. Personally. I have no knowledge, no information. But that's what happened. And <coughs> To make matters worse, allegedly, in the background, you can hear Shannon's other phone going off. Like his friends are trying to call him. And, they, and they, his friends are good, though. He's got good friends. Allegedly, his friends are trying to call him on, on FaceTime. Because allegedly, with IG Live, if someone calls you on FaceTime while you're on IG Live, it cuts the IG Live. But they didn't know he was on his second phone. And that second phone isn't for the man them. That second phone's for the gal them. You know, the second phone's for the slaws. Uh, or as fucking Black Youngster would say, whores. That's what that second phone's for. It's for the whores. So, like, you know, he didn't, they didn't, they, they were trying to call, they were trying to get that, that, that thing blocked off, but it wasn't happening. And you see all the messages of his friends trying to say something, and, you know, the, the moans kept moaning. He was happy. And at the end, you knew it was him at the end, though. You knew it was him at the end because he was growling. You could recognize his growl. And then towards the end, he starts kissing on her. And just, just from the size of his mouth and his nose and his lips, right? And how much he yaps. You could tell that was him, like... Right? Just, just, just like, you know, just like a pure uncle. And just like, super happy. <laughs> Giving her tons of bizus. Wet, wet bizus. Like, he was really in there. He was in there. In there. Rah. So, yeah. She got all the bizus. And you knew it was her, you knew it was him, you know, and things went down. The hacking, the hacking lie at the end was hilarious. I love the hacking lie. I love the hacking lie, I'm not going to lie. The hacking lie was good. Um, but I also love that he kind of fessed up to it after the fact, admitted it on his show, did a whole stream about it. Him and Chad um, Ultra Cinco spoke about it pretty well, or in a funny way. Um, Chad Ultra Cinco made, which I thought was a little bit of a homophobic joke, or oh, I'm just happy it wasn't, it was a Michelle and not Michael. I'm like, ooh, like, god damn, you know, fucking, you know, African-American men and their fucking inability to not be homophobic is hilarious, bro. Um, legitimately, like, like African-American men, like, I think if they saw two guys, like, kissing in the park, they might throw up. They are that homophobic. It's absolutely insane. Like, how would you say that? Like, I'm just happy as Michelle and not Michael. I was like, bro, like, okay, cool, whatever. Um... But there's also that kind of narrative going out there. People are saying, oh, he did this on purpose because the rumors around him being gay were like really loud and we get on his nerves. And I'm like, bruh, bruh, really? 
You think he would care about people online saying that he's gay and then he would potentially throw his career in jeopardy just to appease some people on the internet? Come on, man. Come on, man. Make it make sense. Not, 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 not likely. I don't think that's true. Um, I just think it was one of those unfortunate mistakes, but also another instance or another example why guys shouldn't trust men. Sorry, what, what, guys, what, why men shouldn't trust women, sorry. Bloody hell, that was a nice fraudulent slip there. Why men shouldn't trust women. Like, that woman nearly got him in a lot of trouble, man. Um, allegedly, ESPN are still reviewing the case. I think there was a fake tweet that went out from a site, from a, an account that I thought was real, um, but it wasn't a, a legend that he got fired from ESPN. I doubt that's the case. Hopefully, anyway, because it's a private matter, and it? it just went on the internet by accident. I don't think there needs to be anyone fired for that, and it wasn't, we didn't see anything. It was just background noise and shit, which I think was perfectly okay. Um, obviously, it's still embarrassing, but perfectly okay. And um, even, is it really even embarrassing? Maybe it's embarrassing he went live, but it's like, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, but I'm happy to see people are kind of reacting to it in a funny way, sort of. Um, it probably helps that he's likable. That probably helps. He's not like a, people don't like dislike him. So I think that might have helped with the reception online. But all in all, the jokes about it were hilarious. I love people memeing on it and shit. And hopefully he can kind of, you know, use it to his advantage. I think he's been doing a lot of like promos and ads for like, you know, what you call it, um, Viagra companies and all that sort of shit. So I'm sure that's been helping. But apart from that, it was a good, funny little 24 to 48 hours of people on the internet kind of laughing about it. But then, of course, there were people online that took it too far and couldn't just laugh at the whole thing, enjoy the memes. Obviously, some fucking idiot, some dork of a woman decided to try and find out who the woman was. Like, oh, I went through his Instagram and looked through the names and they, and this person found, like, a woman called, like, Nichelle. By the way, like, Americans, American people, like, and their fucking names. I've never, I've never heard of somebody called Nichelle. Have you heard of that? Instead of Michelle, Nichelle. Like, huh? So they blew up this person who wasn't even involved and it wasn't the right person anyway. I was like, come on, man. Can't you just enjoy the memes? Enjoy the jokes. Enjoy the ha-has. Double taps and things to keep it moving. You don't need to go and find this person. So anyway, um, you know, they, 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 did, they haven't found a person. Hopefully they don't. Keep it under wraps and just let people go on and do what they need to do in it. But don't be surprised if on black Twitter, if they find out who the person is and this person happens to be white or dare I say Hispanic, all of the fucking black Twitter people will blow up and go, oh, he doesn't like black women. Oh. It's like, bro, like, honestly, social media, especially Twitter sometimes, like, the opinions people have online, it's like, God almighty, man. The expectations, like, they want you to live your life the way that they would live. It's like, just, just enjoy the shit show, bro. The whole world is burning. The whole world's on fucking fire. You get to hear someone moaning and groaning, you know, fucking literally growling at somebody they're fucking telling them, like, that's my Michelle which is the most boomery, like, I don't know, <laughs> boomery sex talk I've ever heard in my life. Like, just enjoy the shit show. Enjoy the memes to keep it moving. You don't need to turn it into a fucking, you know, discussion about interracial dating. It's like, ah, my brain is about to explode. But gladly, that all kind of put to the wayside and everyone kind of moved on. But it was pretty fun, 24 to 48 hours. So big up Shannon Sharp for providing the lulls. Big up Shannon Sharp for providing the lows.